Disabilities, what they are and why you probably have one. And this is not clickbait because the Americans with Disabilities Act is pretty broad. Let's go over what you might think when you hear the word disability. So what do you think a disability is? Think of some stuff that might come to mind. And then what do you think a disability isn't? Think of some stuff that might come to mind. I'm gonna run over some traits of what's traditionally thought of as a disability, such as something being blind or being paraplegic. So something that can't be treated medically, usually if somebody's blind, you can't fix that, or if somebody's paraplegic, you can't fix that. Uh, something that regularly requires physical tools, such as wheelchairs or uh, some kind of viewing aid or audio readers, uh, something that only affects a small group something that requires people to ask for accommodations from the people around them, or something that affects people's ability to perform some specific action, but not people's abilities to make choices. So decision impairment is not really a thing that is usually considered in traditional disabilities, uh, but what's legally considered a disability looks pretty different. That would be a person who has any kind of physical or mental impairment that just makes their life harder regularly, uh, has a history or record of such an impairment, and is perceived by others as having such an impairment. That includes any chronic illness like cancer or diabetes or arthritis, any formally diagnosed mental illness, psychiatric condition or behavioral disorder such as anxiety, bipolar or substance abuse, any genetic or autoimmune disorder such as autism, asthma, and most allergies, any physical mobility limitations such as cerebral palsy or back problems, any intellectual or sensory alterations such as autism, dyslexia, or blindness that regularly requires accommodations, any chronic pain conditions such as migraines or arthritis, or a lot of other things, the list is practically endless and you probably fell somewhere on this list. <laughs> More thinking time. Uh, what are some examples you can think of that weren't on the previous slide? And do you know somebody who you previously thought didn't have a disability but actually does have a disability? You probably have people in your life like that. In practice, do you need any accessibility tools or devices? That includes something like glasses. Do you have an ongoing condition that requires ongoing medical treatment? Do you have to ask for accommodations from the people around you or ask people to alter their expectations of you based on something you can't control? If the answer to any of the above is yes, then you probably have a disability of some kind. Disabilities are things that make life harder. There are a lot of things that make life harder. The term disability carries a lot of stigma because it's usually applied to people who have very obvious, very perceivable disabilities. But basically everyone has a disability of some kind. So it's good to work through the stigma on this word and get people to talk about it more and understand what disability means legally so that they can more accurately and more precisely ask for accommodations in their workplaces.